Hello everyone, welcome back to the Civ Raising Move. Last time we were playing around with that NeoPixel, but I didn't give you a very good demo of the capabilities of it, so you can see it running now. As the title suggested, we're going to be working on the head this time. Um, I've got a little bit of wiring to do first, and then hopefully we can get a little bit of a demonstration of the capabilities of the head. Now I've had a couple of people ask me about the wooden frame. Uh, it's not normally something I'd show off because I'm not particularly proud of my craftsmanship there, but it is serving the purpose. Um, in particular, somebody asked how I'd attached the um, body of the in-move to the wooden frame. And all I've done is drilled holes through here that line up with the holes that are already in the um, base here of the stomach assembly and then I've just driven a self-tapping screw up through that and up through the uh, base. I haven't drilled any new holes in the base so that when I eventually build the next stomach assembly that can go under there with no modifications. We'll have to then rethink how we attach the wooden frame again. Um, I did say I would take pictures of it but it is pretty difficult to, to see but you can just about see there that's how I've uh, screwed through. There's four. There's two in the back. One here, one here, and then two more in the in the front. So hopefully that answers that question. So my first goal with the wiring is to get this ribbon cable here, which is coming down from the head, uh, to plug into this socket here. So I've got to put a connector on the end of that. Um, but the more challenging part is to get. Um, five of these pins wired up to five of the Arduino pins so I'm going to have to remove this board and do a bit of soldering on the back so this is going to take a little bit of um, figuring out because I know I need five of the wires out of this ribbon cable but I don't know which five so I don't actually know which of these five pins I need to connect up I'm going to have to figure that out somehow Right, so what I did was I've attached the plug onto the uh, ribbon cable and then I'm actually using a, a known pin. I've just borrowed one from the hand and arm for the moment. Um, we're actually going to be connecting to this bottom connector, but just to work out every, where everything is, I've connected to the center pin of the top connector, which I know is pin 8 on the Arduino. And then what I did was I connected this end uh, into the first pin at this end on the top row so it'll actually get reversed when we when we plug it in so that would be um, this pin here at this end on the top row um, and then I just set up a servo in my robot lab and played around with moving it to see which servo actually moved and that turned out to be the jaw um, and what I did was I worked out um, the maximum and minimum position of the jaw, which I figured out to be uh, closed is 174 degrees and open is 128 degrees. So I can move within that range. And then I just moved the pin across to the um, next hole in the connector and did the same. Just see which servo moved and how far I could move it. Um, and I noted down all the numbers. Um, the one thing I did discover is that the eyes X doesn't seem to work and I get the feeling that probably the servo is burnt out in the eyes X. So that's moving the eyes left and right. Up and down they seem to work okay but they don't move very far. Left and right. The servo just kind of hums a little bit but it's kind of a high pitched hum. They're very small servos so they're not very noisy. Um, but it doesn't quite sound right and nothing is moving and I've seen these little uh, SG90 servos burn out before and that looks to me like what's happened so at some point we'll probably have to replace the servo for the eye left and right movement so now that I know all the pin numbers I've noted everything down and it's these top five pins which is nice and convenient nice and neat so I just now need to figure out where's the best place to wire them up on the Arduino which pin numbers on the Arduino are, are convenient to connect these to. 
So I've soldered the wires onto the back up to the Arduino pins and you can see I've now plugged in the ribbon cable and you can see behind there I've got the other ribbon cable for the arm as well. So I think that's uh, quite a neat solution actually for how those ribbon cables are going to sit when the thing's finished. So now that we've uh, completed the wiring let's take a look at some Python script. So I'm not going to go over this line by line in detail. I'll just go through and give you a rough idea of what I'm doing and how I'm doing things. Now you can see I've got this uh, import time. Now I have seen some scripts where they just do sleep and not time.sleep. But I tried that and I was getting errors. So I've gone back to having this import time at the top and then doing time.sleep for the delays. Then you can just see I've defined a port. It's COM14, that's what just came up when I plugged in the Arduino, so that's what I went with. Then you can see we're starting an Arduino service and I've just called it head controller. And then you can see I'm doing a connect we're just connecting it to the port we defined above. I've just put a small delay in there basically just to give me a few seconds to start the video when I'm running this. You can see we've got the initialization code. I'm basically just starting five servo services and naming them with some meaningful names. Next we've got the attach code. I'm just basically attaching the servos. Now I'm not attaching the ISX because I know there's a problem with the ISX. They're not going to move anyway, so I couldn't see the point in attaching them. And then you can see I've just defined a few uh, functions here. Um, I've just done it like this to make it easier for me to sort of call them and swap them in and out as I, as I want to. Um, you can basically see I'm just doing a, um, a print so I know what's going on and then a move to and then the time.sleep just to give it time to complete that move. That's basically what I'm doing in all of these functions, just moving various servos. So if we scroll down a bit. Now this for loop here is um, basically the main code. Um, I'm just looping over these demos one at a time and I'm just looping over them five times. And then finally we've got the detach code. I'm just detaching all the servos to stop the buzzing. So let's take a look and see what it does. Right, are you happy?
So yeah, really pleased with that. Nice demo of the head. And we got to take another look at that NeoPixel showing off a little bit more of its capabilities. As usual, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.